Everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for 150 subscribers. I really appreciate it. It's a big goal of mine to grow this channel, and I truly appreciate every single one of you. Um, yeah, I guess that's what I have to say about that. Now, I know most of my viewers only chill out for about a minute, maybe 30 seconds, so I'm just going to give you the gist. So if you want to dislike the video, you can do that and run, okay? So, this Loot the Key of Everything card, people are pretty pissed off about it. People are pretty angry calling it a desperation play on Wizards uh, on Wizards end, saying that it's kind of stealing from the Mandalorian, little little baby Yoda 2.0. People are saying it's it looks like other games. It's not it's not the art of magic, you know? It's it's a, completely against the story. Oh, that's the thing that was in the vault. That sucks. I got to be honest with you. My opinion is and we'll talk about this further. I think it's negative people looking for something in this set to bitch about. That's what I think. Um, so let's talk about it. Obviously, I've seen a lot of things, and I'm sure you have too, on Reddit, uh, Twitter, YouTube, right? A lot of people are criticizing... Well, the, the major critique that I've seen is that this is kind of a ripoff of, uh, of Baby Yoda in The Mandalorian. So I, I, I gotta be honest with you. I kind of see your point, right? So uh, Magic Historian put a video out uh, maybe two days ago where he said, you know, Magic's R&D team works a couple years in advance and the timing lines out, uh, lines up with the Mandalorian's release and, and the hype around Baby Yoda. So I honestly, I, I think that's a very sound point. Don't get me wrong. There's going to be times where companies make decisions because other companies made a good decision and they want to kind of build off the success, you know, or, or, or kind of I don't want to say leech, but you know, it's they, they want to essentially do the same thing and see if it works. And honestly, I think the magic community is probably the one that you'd want to target with that. Um, you know, if, I mean, I, I enjoy Star Wars, everything like that. I know a lot of my friends who play magic enjoy that, that kind of, you know, uh, movie, everything like that. I don't know how to say it other than, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of in that like gamer culture and sci-fi, you know, culture to to like these movies so i i guess i kind of get it on on hasbro's end is it for me no no absolutely not is it for a lot of people i know who play uh magic and will people find this uh this you know creature this this uh key to the multiverse inter interesting yeah i think so i i really do um so i guess that's what i have to say about that the other the other major critique that i've seen um, is that the art is reminiscent of League of Legends. Um, and we actually have found out that the artist is an artist for League of Legends. And people are kind of pissed off that that it, you know, doesn't look like magic. It, a lot of people say it looks like a Digimon um, creature. I don't know. What, what are, you, are they just Digimon? I don't, I really don't know. I've never, I've never really dive, uh, dove into that, uh, that franchise, but whatever. It, I gotta be honest with you. I, it, Shouldn't we celebrate when when good art comes out? And I mean, good is is subjective. A lot of people think this is a very ugly creature. I personally kind of think it's cute. I don't know. I that's just my opinion on it. But shouldn't we celebrate when when games kind of branch outside the box, try to get some different people into the game, try to um, you know make a more diverse um, art style in there. In their game, which I mean, don't they do that with showcases? Don't they do that already with, with Secret Layer? I mean, it kind of makes sense to me that that you would, would at least maybe try it out. And to be perfectly honest with you, the alternate arts, the where um, loot shows up in other cards, it doesn't really look like the like the main base legendary creature. Um, the the main base one is the one people are kind of pissed off about, but. But yeah, I just, I really don't get that level of outrage, especially, especially when it's a good thing. It's, it's original art, something we really haven't seen in, in, um, in Magic. It kind of gives me some Battlebond vibes. I don't know if that's, I don't know if anybody else kind of feels that, but that's where I'm at with it. It really doesn't get me going at all. And on top of it, it's a pretty damn good card. Like, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to try and remember it off the top of my head, but it's a teamer, um, three cost, uh, green, blue, red, one, two, ward one. It's a legendary. I, I 
couldn't tell you what creature type it is. Maybe beast. I don't know. Um, and then the effect is at the beginning of your upkeep, you reveal X cards from the top of your library where X is the number of non-land permanent types you have, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, and then you get to play one of those cards, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's something something along the lines of that. If anybody has the actual thing and just wants to copy-paste it, throw in the comments, do that. But good card. I think that's a decent card, right? It's not crazy cracked, but honestly, a lot of the things in this set are insanely cracked. Um, so good card. Art style. I think, I think actually it gets a check. I think it gets a check plus because it's... Um, because it's new, it's it's fresh, it's a different idea, it's it's getting a different crowd into the game. I don't really see what's wrong with that, and maybe appealing to to some other people to try to to try to grow the player base. That's all I have to say about that. And and then uh, three. It's just it's kind of an outside the box concept. This creature, and I think that's what we're gonna get in next here is how it ties into the story. Now, mind you, I am not the biggest Magic the Gathering lore follower. That is not why I why I enjoy the game. I enjoy the game for the actual gameplay and collecting sealed. That's what I'm into. But apparently, this creature is um, like the key to the multiverse. It, it essentially is like a map um, to the multiverse. When, and some people are saying that maybe this is going to be uh, uh, wizards trying to reboot uh, the Magic universe, which might not be... I don't know. It's not, it's it's a fresh kind of idea in my in my head. Um, you know, it, is the character itself a little like Mandalorian? -y? Sure. Well, you know, I guess look wise, but I don't think we've seen magic do that. And yeah, I mean, it's incorporating some pretty some pretty popular planeswalkers, Jace Vraska, you know, all that kind of stuff, and and. In the vault, it's not what you expected. You know, you expect, like, the like big, like, you know, something huge, right? And then it comes in this, like, tiny package, which I guess, you know, maybe falls in line with some, like, story tropes. But at the same time, it's it's something I haven't seen done in, in Magic before. And if it has happened before, please educate me. I, like I said, I'm not the biggest lore follower, but I find it interesting. I find this entire set interesting. I think it checks so many boxes for a lot of different people. It appeals to the commander community, whether, you know, you know my opinion on that. I'm not the biggest fan of them, you know, constantly inundating us with commander cards and standard, but it is what it is. It appeals to them. The standard power level is very, very strong. Um... It even appeals to the arena people with the, uh, is it the, oh God, it's the big score. It's the big score. Okay. It's the big score cards, getting a lot of awesome cards into, what do they call it? It's not historic, timeless. It's a lot of cool cards in the timeless. Like there's a lot of things that are so right with this set. And I think things have gone wrong in magic for so long that people, you know, it's it's like, oh my God, I, I, I need this negativity. This is what I've clung onto for the past two years. What can I find? Uh, this little cute ass creature. Ah, fuck that thing. You know what I mean? Like, it feels like that. Because there's so, in my opinion, there's so little to complain about. I mean, if you want to complain about power level, if you really want to complain about power level and say that power creep's bad um, for the game on like a player level, Maybe I could agree with you on that. We could we could find some you know common ground on either side. But as a as a collector of sealed product, um, power level creeps great. <laughs> like it's it. Look at um Ikoria. Look at Ikoria. That set did amazing day one, and it is still doing great. Is that is that five hundred dollar collector box yet? Maybe four hundred. I don't know, but it's still it's doing great. Um, yeah. So. I totally understand where people are coming from with certain aspects, but to be perfectly honest with you, I can't get on the, the idea like, oh, this, this set escapes the lore so much and the art is so bad that, you know, it's not a good set. I, I can't get on that. Some people are on that, like, and, and people are saying like wizards is desperate. 
Now, I might agree with you on like a grand scale. They're probably pretty desperate for, um, for a success because there's been a lot of not success. They're starting to find it, right? Ixalan, uh, uh, Ravnica Remastered, um, Fallout. We all know Modern Horizons 3 is going to be a hit. You know what I mean? They're going to get in a wave of success. So yeah, the desperation comes off a little bit because of how bad they did in previous years. But it really is turning around. They're kind of finding their stride. And it's this this is gonna be a whole brave new world in, in terms of in terms of how uh, magic is bought and sold. Um you know, for for better or for worse. I personally think it's for worse. Hasbro is trying to go direct to market, and that's gonna have a very big and profound effect on local game stores. But this is the way they're going with moving forward. And it's one of those situations where, where it's it's not whether you like it or not, it's happening, right? Um, and that's and that's just my view on it. But there's so much positive going into the future that, um, yeah, I mean, it's things are looking up in magic. And when you see these voices cling to straws, you know, of, of negativity of like small things like magic is desperate because th this thing looks like Baby Yoda. Well, guess what, guys? These same people that are saying that are super hyped for Bloomborough. What do you call that? I'd call that a desperation play. If, if you're calling this Baby Yoda thing a desperation play, I'm calling Bloomborough that because literally they're just leaning on the fact that, that, that it's an animal set. Like, so, so when you hear these voices online, remember, their, their anger is in the here and now, right? And you could look back on this and, and widen out your horizon and then find that, that the holes in their, in their logic really do come out really quickly. Um, so yeah, I think I'll leave it on that 12 minutes. If you made it here, uh, I, I really, once again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, thank the shit out of you guys right now. 150 subscribers. I never thought it would happen. Um, not nearly this quickly. I thought I'd be uploading for, for years before, you know, we even got even a little traction. So, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. As you can see, I'm, I'm sort of trying to up my, um, my setup a bit. Uh, as you can see the, you know, the studio still, <laughs> you know, I guess what it is. I mean, my, my Christmas gift wrapping area is still set up guys. It's rough, but, um, <laughs> So, but as you can see, I've, I've, uh, started up, um, upgrading my thumbnails. I am taking advantage of, uh, chat GPT's Dali, uh, for that. So if some of them look a little crazy, it's me learning how to, how to get it done. I'm not the greatest photo editor. I don't know how to use Photoshop, but, um, but I'm trying my best to do this by myself. Um, you know, at least for the time being. So, yeah, I, I appreciate anybody who, who clicked on this video because of the title, the title changes I'm making, because of the, uh, the thumbnail changes I'm making. Welcome to the channel if you're here still, but I just have to thank all of you again. I really, really, really appreciate all of you. Um, I really love making this content. I, I love it even more now than when I started doing it, you know, five or so months ago. And, and that's a really good sign for me moving forward that, that this is going to continue and I'm finding avenues in which to move forward and progress uh, the channel. So if you want to, you know, join me and be and be part of, uh, you know, uh, part of the channel, welcome. Throw a comment in there. I love talking to you guys, even if it's negative comments. Sometimes I get a little pissy. You catch me on the weekend, I'll, I'll be a little pissy. <laughs> but but I really do. Uh, I really do appreciate every single one of you, all the engagement, all the support. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, I hope you all have a good one. Um, oh, well, this is going to be fucking great, by the way. It's going to be fucking great. And you guys are going to, and, and, oh my gosh. And if you see these sales right now, I'm sorry, I'm going on again. So as, as we saw yesterday, the, uh, the sale for the 199 happened and now, you know, it's going for like 210. So it dropped the price maybe about 5%. Um, uh, but then the, the depth isn't very high on that. So it's actually shooting back up to 220. So, um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that that TCG player sale was, uh, um, you know, not, not something that's going to affect anything. So I really hope that's the case. Um, although it's looking good, 
Um, usually after every sale, you'd see it kind of stick around that sale price, but it didn't do that at all. It, it went up just a touch. So that's a little different than how it's been going. So I'm, I'm very, very optimistic for this set at launch. Um, I personally find that 210 point um, for me personally still feels like a little bit of a discount in the long run. I don't know what's going to happen in the first three months of this set's release. Um, even the good sets seem to go down. So, you know, if you want to wait, wait. I mean, like it's you, you might get further discounts, but if you're holding long, I guess um, it doesn't really matter, you know, too much when you get in. So um, I guess that's what I have to say about that. Once again, thank you all again. Uh, 15 minutes in the video. Geez, okay, I promise I'm done. Uh, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a good one. Outlaws is going to be fucking great.